Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I will give an example on Bayes theorem. See the statement of the given problem. Three missions named as A, B and C produce 30%, 45% and 25% of the bolts in a factory. Okay, there is a factory and in that factory there are three missions. The out of 100% out output, Mission A produces 30%. Okay. Out of 100% of the bolts, 45% produced by the mission B. You can take this is B. So, it produces 45%. Okay. And this is the mission C. Mission C produces 25% of the total output. So, if you add these all percentages, you surely will get 100%. And uh, past experience shows that 2%, 3% and 2% are defective in their outputs respectively. So it means that, so out of 30%, 2% are defective from mission A. So from the entire production of the B, mission B, defective, this is the defective percentage. Okay, defective percentage is 3% from the mission B. From the production of the mission C, 2%, 2% is the defective percentage from C, okay. So this is the given data. Now a bolt is selected, a bolt is selected randomly. It means that blindly a bolt is selected from the entire factory and found to be defective, okay. Randomly selected bolt is obtained as defective bolt. What is the probability that it is from second mission B. It is produced from second mission B. Okay. Actually, that defective bolt may be produced from A, may be produced from B, it may be produced from C. But particularly he asking that the he asking that the probability that the defective bolt is came from mission B. Okay. See the solution. This is the very very important model. So please listen. So here, according to the statement, probability of mission A, nothing but bolt is produced from A, mission A is nothing but 30%. It would be 30 by 100. So 10 gets cancelled, 3 by 10 is nothing but 0 0.3. Similarly, probability of B becomes 45%. It is given as 45, it would be 0 0.45, 45 by 100. So probability of C is given as 25%. It is nothing but 0 0.25. Okay. Let D is equal to event of randomly selected. Randomly selected. Bolt is defective. Okay. So, again from the given data. Again. From the given data, we have what is the probability of defective from A? Okay, what is the defective from A? 2%. First, it is came from A, after that, it becomes defective. So, you should use the conditional probability notation. Writing these notations are very, very important. Okay, probability of D given A is nothing but a bolt is came outside produced from A and it is defective. So it is given as 2%. So 2% is nothing but 0 0.02, 2 by 100. Now what is the probability to that bolt is defective from the mission B? Okay, first it is came from B, after that it becomes defective. That's why I am using this conditional probability. So it would be 3%, it is given as 3%. So 0 0.03. Similarly, probability of defective from the mission C is given as 2%. So, it would be 0 0.02. Okay. Now, what is our aim? Here, a bolt is selected randomly and found to be defective. What is the probability that it is, it is from second mission, second mission B? Okay. So, we have to find that. We have to find. Randomly selected. Bolt is given as defective. 
this is the first event already defective bolt is happened now we have to find out that this defective from b so you have to find out probability of b given d okay so for this first we have to find out we have to find probability of d so according to the base theorem what is the probability of d probability of d means if we randomly selected a bolt from the entire factory it would be defective okay according to the base theorem this defective may be came from a okay so you should write that probability of a and uh, it must be defective it should came from a and it must be defective that's why you should write that probability of a intersection d maybe that defective bolt came from b second mission so you should write that probability of b intersection d otherwise it it may be came from that defective bolt came from c so that bolt should be came from c and it must be defective this is the base theorem okay so according to the multiplication theorem it can be written as probability of a into probability of d given a already in earlier cases we discussed about the multiplication theorem once you can look like at that video probability of b intersection probability of d given a plus probability of c into probability of d given c okay if you are not understand otherwise you are unable to write this entire formula you can use this chart okay this one into this one plus this one into this one plus this one into this one you can draw this tree and you can write products of respective branches and you can add all branches probability of a is nothing but 30 percent it would be 0 0.3 into probability of d given a which is 2 percent so 0 0.02 plus 0 0.45 into 3 percent is 0 0.03 plus I will write here probability of C nothing but 25 percent it would be 0 0.25 into 2 percent is okay this one into this one plus this one into this one plus this one into this one if you are unable to write this both formula you can use directly this one no problem so 0 0.02 so I will calculate this one by using our scientific calculator so so 0.3 into 0 0.02 close the bracket plus right open 0 0.45 into 0 0.03 plus right open 0 0.25 into 0 0.02 I got 0 0.0245 okay this is the probability of D now actually we have to find out this one according to the definition of conditional probability what is the probability of b given d now take this one probability of intersection of both events divide with the probability of d and what about probability of b intersection d okay this is from definition of conditional probability definition of conditional probability once you can Look at the conditional probability definition, you will understand this step. Again, by multiplication theorem, the intersection of probability of intersection of B and D becomes probability of B into probability of D given B. Otherwise, you can multiply the second branch 45 percentage into 3 percentage by probability of D by multiplication theorem. What is the probability of B? Probability of B is nothing but 0 0.45 into 0 0.03 by 0 0.0245 see here you can use this symbol 0 0.45 into 0 0.03 division 0 0.0245 surely you will get the answer between 0 and 1 so 0 0.55 nothing but 55 percent there is around 55 percent chance that random that defective bolt came from mission b that is the conclusion okay this problem is very very important so please practice well before that it is better to prepare once base theorem also thank you very much